Hey, what's up, travelers? We are in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and it's the last day of Songkran. We're probably getting drenched, but we are heading over to the Saturday night market. Well, I have seemed to have made it to the night market without getting too very drenched. We'll see how that goes for the rest of the night, though. These works of silver are really, really cool. We will have a video about that later in the We got coconuts for a dollar here. Fifty baht for mango sticky rice. That's a really good price. Antique stuff there. Don't buy Buddha heads when you're in Thailand. <laughs> ah, thank you.
elephant pants for 90 baht. Alright, so I think we gotta decide what we wanna get to eat here. Uh, there's a couple things on my list here that I've been wanting to try. So I think we'll go grab some of that. Well, I found something that I think I'm gonna have to try even though I'm probably absolutely gonna dislike it. And that is durian milk. I didn't even know durians had nipples. <laughs> Along with the durian milk, we got this. It is just now durian season. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to break down and do it, even though I do not like durian. <laughs>
<laughs> Hello, boils and ghouls. It's your old pal, the Crypt Keeper, to remind you to join Tasting Travel on a trip around the world to visit some killer restaurants. <laughs> Strike that subscribe button down below. If you don't, you fright well be making a grave mistake. <laughs> Alright, so I picked up a bunch of different stuff here since we're kind of at a street fair basically. I ended up getting Chiang Mai sausage and it is called Soy Ua. I got Northern Thai spaghetti sauce. It's made out of chilies and it is called Nam Prigong. And then I got a chicken skewer and some coconut pancakes. Six or seven different flavors of coconut pancakes. Maybe even eight. And then I got a couple of Thai crepes, strawberry juice and a couple things that I'm not really excited about but I am excited about it because I would have got I wouldn't have got it if I wasn't. Yes, I got some durian and durian milk. So <laughs> let's get into this. So we are going to start by opening this uh, this sauce here. This is the Thai spaghetti sauce. Well, here's the Thai sausage, the the soy ua. Let's try this. So supposedly this is supposed to have quite the kick to it. Mm. Mm. That is great. Yeah, it's, it's got some good spice to it. However, you taste that lemongrass. It comes through like super, super heavy. And then there's some galango in there, some ginger, and then that pepper. It just it just keeps biting you and biting you and biting you. That is a fantastic piece of sauce. Let's try a little bit of this just by itself here. Mm. That's really, really good. I can't tell if it's spicy because of the, the sausage that I had, but it doesn't seem to be. Uh, let me cleanse my palate here with the strawberry juice. Ooh. That's good. Alright, so let's try this again. Yeah, that's, that's really good. It doesn't have that peppery kick that you would expect from something that's made out of peppers. It's almost like a, a steamed spinach, but with flavor. <laughs> yeah, so let's have a little bit of that with that sausage. Let's go in. Yeah, that is so good. That chili sauce, it is awesome, and I'm so glad that I got it. It actually cuts the spice of the sausage about in half. If you come to Northern Thailand, seek that sausage out. It's, it comes in, in these circular uh, spiral shapes, and uh, I think for what I got, I spent a hundred baht, and uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it, even though it's absolutely delicious. Alright, now let's try this chicken skewer here. You didn't want to come off the skewer. <laughs> this is a nice sweet meat. There's no fire to it or anything like that. Okay, so this is a Thai coconut pancake. Uh, I've got some that are sweet. I've got some that are savory. Yeah, let's let's jump in and try this one. I have no idea what it is. It could be coconut. It could be pumpkin. It could be onion. I have no idea. <laughs> mm. 
That one was porn. <laughs> Mm. And one of the things that you end up seeing here is, is in Thailand, if you go to like McDonald's, they sell they sell pineapple pies and corn pies. And uh, I've always kind of shied away from the corn pies because I mean I'm an American, we don't do stuff like that with corn. But uh, it really, really works. It's a it's a very good, very good thing to try for sure. All right, so this one I think is the, the shallots. Mm -hmm. Oh So you get the sweetness of the coconut and then the uh, onion flavor, it just kind of rushes through and it is absolutely delicious. So this one, this one should be pumpkin. Yeah, that's uh, good. It was almost like a pumpkin pie. And this is a Thai purple sweet potato. You see it's kind of broken open, it's all purple inside. <laughs> These pancakes are something else. So we got a coconut left, we got um, a taro, we got a pandan and a sticky rice. And then we got a couple of these. I'm not even sure what they got stuffed in those. All right, so here is a taro pancake. This one's a bit different than the other one. It's got shreds of coconut in it instead of just the coconut milk cream batter. Maybe even some sticky rice in there. And it's absolutely fantastic. So let's try one of these crepes out. I don't know what the white stuff or the orange stuff is, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> no, we're not going to figure it out. Um, I think it's probably some sort of like dried pumpkin or something like that. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. The crepe itself is very, very delicious. Other than the taste of the crepe, it's basically flavorless. All right, so this one is pandan flavored. Um, pandan is a leaf that grows over in these areas and it is sweet. Um, I don't really know much more about it than that, but it's sweet and everything that it touches turns green, apparently. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, it's just like sweet sticky rice. Very, very interesting. Here it is. <laughs> uh, I, in the past, have never gotten along with this spiky fruit. <laughs> is spiky fruit is called durian if you are unaware, if you don't know what durian is. And then I picked up some durian milk. This actually scares me more than the durian, but we're gonna go ahead and break into this. Oh. Wow, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> I was not expecting that. So, usually with durian, you get a very, very intense flavor uh, with anything that you get it with. So I was expecting you know, durian milk, it's gonna be heavy. Um, it, this is a very, very light durian flavor in that, so I think they used a lot of water. But here it is. It's actually got a very mild, mild scent to it, which isn't normal for durian. So, here we go. Oh my God. That is delicious. I, I can't believe what I'm, I'm saying that right now. That is, that is so good. 
Yeah. It's almost like a banana apple custard. In the past, I've described it as rotten onion with foot carcass. <laughs> but no, this is absolutely good. This is great. Wow. I am absolutely amazed that I like that. Ooh, there's that onion. <laughs> that was a shocking revelation. <laughs> can't believe that just happened <laughs> well if you've enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe hit that notification bell and as always eat great food <laughs>